I am Toni Hunt, also known as her Huntress. I have not filmed for a very long time, and I would like to start out my December filming my favorite perfumes and my perfume collection. Let's get right into it. I also like makeup, crystals, and I do like to collect perfumes. They kind of go hand in hand with makeup. I'm going to go through first what I like in the summer, and I'm going to end up what I like in the uh, cooler months. I'm going to read to you what the notes are. I don't know if that's going to help you to know if you're going to like these or not. But this might give you some idea, and it's getting close to Christmas, so maybe some gift ideas. We're going to start off with my Versace Bright Crystal Absolute. Yes, it's spelled Absolute. I did have just the Versace Bright Crystal. It's in a lighter pink container. I wanted to try this because it's supposed to be more intense than the original version. Uh, it is more intense, but I do like the original version more. I I'm not sure why. They do smell alike. For whatever reason, I like the lighter pink bottle better. When I get through this, I'm going to go to the original. But let me, I've got my computer here. Let me read what the notes is of this is. And I am reading this right off the Sephora website because that's where I do most of my shopping anyway. But this says it is... An amazing vibrancy of yuzu immediately stands out between between colored and juicy pomegranate seeds creating a unusual freshness pure and natural it is enriched with accents of raspberry peony along with notes of magnolia and lotus flowers it also has it says amber and bright vibrant musk i mean it goes on and on but those are the those are the notes of this this is a good summer scent i will start wearing this in the late or spring months all the way into early fall i don't wear this in the winter it's just not quite heavy enough to kind of pack through the coolness in the air but this is a very nice gift and a lot of people seem to like this one. So if you want to buy somebody a fragrance, you have no idea what they like. This is a very across the board crowd pleasing scent, I think. If I had to buy some, I have bought this as gifts quite a bit. There are four different kinds. There's the regular bright crystal, which I said was light pink, the absolute. There is a newer or yeah, the, the newer and it's black and there is a yellow one so there are four to choose from but like i said i would go with the original light pink bottle if you're buying this as a gift okay next up uh and this is more i like this in the spring and fall but i do wear it in the summer here and there but this is midnight flower by nest and the bottle is very cool you can get packs of all the nest scents or the most popular ones at sephora and they come in little bottles I would suggest that if you're going to buy this as a present, but this is my absolute favorite. Let me read what this has in it. It says exotic wood, patchouli, black amber blended with a sensual note of night blooming jasmine and vanilla orchid. So this has a little bit of amber in it, and you'll notice a lot of my scents have overlapping notes. Uh, I like heavy scents or um, spicy scents. I shouldn't say heavy. I like spicier things. Like I said, Nest makes a lot of good fragrances. This is my favorite. They have a lot of neat things to try, but they have little packs of them, which I would suggest as gifts instead of just buying somebody one if you don't know what they like. But this is my spring and fall scent. Okay, next I'm going to go into two scents. One I kind of have a sample of and another one out of, and I've asked for a refill for my husband for Christmas. But I'm gonna talk about them anyway because the one I've had in my collection for quite some time. But this one is Mon Perry or Paris, however you wanna say it. It's by YSL. Let me talk about this one. I think this is a pretty new one to their collection. But this has red berries and pear. Uh, goes on and on. Oh, it's got creamy white musks and patchouli. So there's patchouli again. And I will insert a picture up here of what the bottle looks like. I haven't owned a full size of this yet, but I have, I've been going through little samples I get when I make Sephora orders. This could be a year round one. Really, I don't think it's too heavy for the summer. And 
I think it's a little spicy enough that you could wear it in the winter or year round. So that's why I've snuck it in in the middle of this video. But like I said, maybe I'll be getting this for Christmas. Hint, hint, Jason. But yeah, this is a new one that I would really like to add to my collection. Okay, the next scent that I am out of, and it's another one I've asked for Christmas. I'm going to put a picture right here somewhere. It's Armani Code. It's the one for females. Uh, it comes in a blue bottle, but let me read some of the notes. It's blood orange, ginger pear, jasmine, orange blossom, lavender, honey, precious woods, complex, and vanilla. That's another one that I could wear year round. It's a little more spicier, so I would say it's really good for fall into winter. Uh, I'm out of it, but it has been my collection for quite some time. It's one of the, uh, it's been out for quite some time, like I said. Uh, it, it, I, geez, I'm going to say maybe 10 years ago was the first time I bought it, but I would like to get that one again. Okay, let's talk about my winter scents, and I'm going to start with, a, with an oldie but goodie. Now, when I said I liked spicy perfumes and scents, I was not lying. This is Estee Lauder Cinnabar. This is their old bottle. They do have a newer one. Let me put this over here, and I will insert a picture above of their new packaging. But I've had this for a few years because you just need the littlest bit of this to smell like cinnamon. And I'm going to read the notes, but I'm just telling you guys, it smells like cinnamon straight up, and it's, it's pretty intense. But it says jasmine, orange flower, tangerine, clove, nutmeg, lily, sandalwood, patchouli. It... It's pretty much just straight up cinnamon. It is very strong, so I actually have to spray it up in the air and kind of drift my body through it. And it will last for days. If you spray this in your bedroom, your bedroom will smell like cinnabar for days. I like it. I only wear it when it's really cold out because it, it is, it's very strong. But Estee Lauder has been making this for years. When somebody wears it and walks into a room, I can identify it right away. I do like this one. Cinnabar. All right, now next up is my favorite winter scent. And let me hold up my, my full collection. It is Armani C. And I will talk about all three of these. Armani C. This is the original. It has, I'm going to try to pronounce this, Chipri? whatever that is, uh, black currant nectar, florals, musky blonde wood. This smells a lot like the YSL black opium. If you like that, you're going to like this. I prefer this more because I think this lasts longer. Uh, black opium doesn't last more than a couple hours on me, and I'm not sure why. It does not have that effect on anybody else on this planet, but this smells a lot like YSL black opium. Original version right here. Okay, this black bottle is Armani C, the intense version. It is the intense version for sure. It lasts longer and is a little more potent. Ugh. It uh, is really good when it gets really cold out. And then to round out the collection, I thought I needed, let me shake this up a little bit. This is their hair and body oil. In the winter, my hair gets really dry, especially on the ends. And I just thought this would be a nice way to kind of layer the scent. And it really is. Uh, you can use this on your body if you want. Um, you know, rub it on your arms or in your neck and then layer the perfume on top. I have heard it really makes your perfumes last a long time. But I bought it mainly to put in my hair. Just so my hair would smell nice and pretty. But yes, by far, this is my favorite winter scent. And the newest uh, perfume to my collection is Marc Jacobs Decadence. Isn't this just the prettiest, coolest bottle you've ever seen? It's a little expensive. Uh, let me tell you what the notes of this one are. It says it's a warm floral scent, maybe, but it has Italian plum, rose, jasmine, and amber. This is unlike anything I've ever smelled before. You kind of have to have a personality to go along with this, and I'm not sure how else to explain that. This perfume is not for everybody. Not everybody's going to like this scent, but those of you that do like it are going to really like it. 
It's kind of the perfume that if I had to make a nickname for, I would nickname this Lady Balls. So, um, yeah, it's not going to be for everybody. It's not a common scent, but I really like it. But yeah, this is the newest one to my collection. Isn't that the cutest bottle? Heck, you can buy it just to present this bottle on your shelf. Marc Jacobs Decadence. And something else I wanted to talk about. I like to carry things in my purse, and I just got in these little travel, um, I don't know, infusers, atomizers, I don't know what you call them. But I'm going to pick out, let's try one on camera. Or I might cut this video off right here if this doesn't work. But let's uh, open her up. Okay, so there wasn't any directions on this, but it looks like it fills from the bottom. So I'm going to try it out on my new Martin Jacobs. So what we're going to do here, let me get you up in the, I'm gonna take it off. So you can see your little nozzle there. Hold it up straight, maybe. Okay, oh, this is going to take forever for the love. Oh, goodness. This looks obscene, but. Oh, yep. Let's get that. Can you see it in there? Yeah, all right. So let's see if it works. I didn't spill anything, nothing came out. Ooh. Hey, that's a nice miss. Let me see if I can go out. I don't want to spray my computer, but here, let me. Ooh, yes. That is a nice mister. Hey, I got these on Amazon, and I think they were maybe like 10 bucks. I don't know, but I'll put it below if you want to check them out. You get four of them. Uh, I'm going to use the pink one for the Marc Jacobs, the dark purple for my Bright Crystal, the black one for my C, and the blue one for my Nest, 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 excuse me, nest Bottle. So that's going to work out really nice. All right, folks, well, I'm going to go ahead and fill my little uh, travel bottles with my perfumes. I'll do an update video if I get one of my scents for Christmas. Anyway, I will see you in my next video. I hope you enjoyed this. Like and subscribe, and I will see you later. Bye. <music>